Before we begin, I encourage you all to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also recommend you check out the BCA for any local pool leagues in your area. And also check out Inside Pool Magazine, as they have some great billiard content. And lastly, visit jflowerscues.com for some great products at great prices. Now on to the video. To win a free pool cue, go to my YouTube channel. Then simply subscribe, like, and share. That's it. Good luck. Philly Fingers here, going over the highlights of a nine ball race to 13 match. I will be fast forwarding and focusing on the break and key areas when the match takes a sudden turn. In game one, it was this attempt at the one ball that changed the outlook of the game. By putting too much left English, the shot was missed. And as you see, it set me up for a 1-9 combination into the side pocket. Take my time and make sure to measure all the angles. 9 from the pocket, the 1 to the 9, and then the Q to the 1. This 1-9 combo into the side gives me the early lead. Game 2 I do a center break with some follow, but I come up dry, open table. Now I do manage to get a bit lucky where the cue ball is partially blocked by the two ball. The options at this point are to either play safe or perhaps come off the rail first to pocket the one ball. Choosing to go rail first, it's this miss that now changes the game. Moving ahead in the match, I'm at a point where now I just clean up the last three balls. Six ball in the top left corner. Eight ball now in the side pocket. And I float over a little bit for the nine. Nine straight in into the bottom right corner. This gives me now a two nothing lead. Game three, again breaking from center, I not only manage to make the wing ball, but I make three balls on the break. It's later in the match where this miss on the six ball is what changes the complexion of the game. This here now leaves me a very easy six ball shot, which I will attempt in the side pocket. I look to make sure there's enough room between the 8 and the 9, because that's going to change how I approach the shot. Six in the side with a little bit of draw to come out for the 8 ball. I'm now straight in on the 8, and I choose to hit the 8 into the side, but also come around to the left of the 9 ball, so I can play the 9 in the bottom right corner. As you see, I am now lined up, nine ball, bottom right corner, and this will give me a three game lead. Game four, I choose to break to the left of the spot in order to make the nine ball. The nine ball starts to head towards the corner pocket, but comes up short, and I break dry. After playing save, it's later in the match, this attempt at a kick on the six ball, when missed, changes the whole outlook of the game. This gives me ball in hand, where I'll play the six into the side pocket, roll up a little bit, and then play the seven nine combination. 
I always prefer combinations with an angle as opposed to being straight in. And for that reason, I make the combination. I now have a four game lead. Game five, again, I attempt the same break off to the side in order to make the nine ball. And the nine ball does head towards that pocket, but another ball went in instead. As I look at my options, the three ball is blocking the one from that corner pocket. So instead I decide to carry the cue off the one into the nine ball. Unfortunately, I didn't clear the seven ball, but luckily I did get a slipper out of it where the two ball is now blocking the one ball. It's now this attempt at the one ball using the bridge to try to come off the rail that will change the outlook of the game. By missing that shot, I now get ball in hand, which I'm going to utilize to make the 1-9 combo into the corner pocket for a five game lead. Game six, I'm gonna stick with the break that's working. And again, I pocket the same wing ball. But it's later on, this attempt at the five, which comes off the rail too hard and scratches in the corner that changes the whole game. Now with ball in hand, I'll just play this in the side pocket with follow so that I could play the nine ball in the top right corner. I'm straight in on the nine, and that's a six game lead. Game seven, same break. This time, three balls on the break. Despite the good break, the game did get away from me. And it was only this attempt at the nine, which was missed, that put me back in the game. And now simply tap this in for a seven game lead. Game eight, I try to switch it up and go to the other side. And lo and behold, nine on the snap into the side pocket. Game nine, I figure try it again. Although in this case, I make two balls and unfortunately end up with horrible position. I have no choice at this point but to play the push. So I decide to push out. It's later in the match, with this miss on the 8-ball, that puts me right back in it. I simply hit the 8 in the corner and come off the rail for the 9. And now I play the 9 in the corner for a 9-game lead. Game 10, I switch back to the original spot, but I come up dry. It's later in the match, where I attempt this 8 ball and miss, that changes the whole game.
This leaves my opponent an easy eight ball in the side. And now a nine ball in the other side. After making this shot, the score is now 9 to 1. Game 11, my opponent breaks from center, and with a lucky kick shot off the cue ball, 9 ball in the corner, it's now 9 to 2. Game 12, another break from center, and a ball is pocketed. It's later in the match that this 6-9 combo in the corner changes the score to 9 to 3. Game 13, another break from center. But it's later in the match that everything changes with this carom off the three ball making the nine in the corner pocket. It's now 9 to 4. Game 14, another center break, but this time a little bit of a miscue, and the break comes up dry. Now I can either play safe. Or in this case, I decide to bank the one into the corner pocket. I'm able to then play a 6-9 combination, which will give me my 10th win and hopefully turn the momentum back around to my side. Game 15, I'm still breaking from the left side, but this time I come up dry. The dry break really takes away my momentum, which enables my opponent to take over. Six ball in the corner with a little bit of follow. Eight ball in the corner with draw. And now lined up for the nine ball in the top right corner. Wisely grabbing the bridge to attempt the nine ball in the corner will now change the score and make it a five point game. Game 16, always breaking from center, but in this case, comes up dry. But it's later in the match, attempting a bank on the eight ball into the side pocket as opposed to a cut that results in a miss and a change in momentum. Needing only three games to win, and now, being able to cut it by one, I'm going to take my time. And this leaves me a simple run out where I'll just cut the eight into the side pocket with left English, come off two rails, and have straight in positioning for the nine. Now, by making the nine ball in the corner pocket, I should hopefully turn the momentum around and bring it back to my side. Game 17, I try to switch it up and not break in center, but just a bit off of center. To no avail, I come up dry. This bad break lets my opponent take over. 
But it's later in the match where my opponent is about to win on this nine ball shot, but misses the bank. That lets me back in the game. Leaving me a very easy nine ball in the side pocket. So that's what I'll do. I'll call the nine in the side. I'll measure just to be 100% sure, take my time, and this will give me my 12th win. Game 18, I go back to basics and decide to break again from the left side. The nine ball starts to head towards the corner, but comes up dry. My opponent now comes to the table and banks the one into the side pocket, leaving perfect shape on the two for the top right corner. Surprisingly, they miss the shot and leaves me a very long two ball shot. The two doesn't really go into the side and it's blocked by the nine. So I'll attempt the two nine combination. It's a long and difficult combination, but knowing I only need one more game to win, I decide to take a chance. I missed the shot badly, and in hindsight, I probably should not have gone for the combination, but perhaps a carom. I could have caromed the cue into the nine. Either way, needing only one more game to win, I thought it was worth the risk. I now leave my opponent many options, whether play safe, whether bank, cut, or in this case, play the same 2-9 combination. And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna try the 2-9 combination. To my surprise, they missed the ball entirely. This now gives me ball in hand. With ball in hand, I decided to just play the 2-9 combination. As I make the 2-9 combo, that gives me my 13th win and the match. Final score, 13-5. Till next time.